outside the law courts at exactly the spot where I watched the revolution begin last year. Now they are protesting against the new government of President Morsi. Inside the cavernous hall, thousands of judges, lawyers and court officials vented their anger against what they say is an unprecedented attack on the judiciary. President Morsi says the courts can no longer challenge him. The response? Many judges and lawyers aren't going on strike. Judge Ahmed Shannon says they will fight the edict. We have to do something because this is our country and this is our job and we have to do something about it. Then back outside, the police suddenly waded in, firing tear gas to break up the demonstration. They're streaming in now to try and drive the protesters away. So here we have the police who were protecting President Mubarak just a, a year and a half ago. Now they've moved in to protect the new president, President Morsi, as he tries to expand his powers. As the casualties mount, the fear is this is becoming a fight between the Muslim Brotherhood, the Islamists, versus the rest of Egypt. This is really where we have to stand, where we have to draw the line between complete domination by a, a group of people with specific ideology and a complete power grab. And we didn't do the revolution to do that. So it's become a standoff, a country bitterly and dangerously divided. John Lyne, BBC News, Cairo.